So 2014 Higher Math Paper 1, the multiple choice, objective questions, numbers 1 to 4. Right, number 1. A sequence is defined by this recurrence relation, un plus 1 equals a third un plus 1, and it gives you u2. It says, what's u4? So you just work your way up to it. If u2 is 15, then the following term, n going to n plus 1, will be a third of that, plus 1. That's a third of 15 is 5 plus 1, which is 6. One more step, u4 will be a third of that, a third of 6 plus 1. A third of 6 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And 3 is answer C. Number two then, the diagram shows a circle with centre, 1, 2, and a tangent meeting at the point T, 3, negative 1. What's the gradient of this tangent? Well, the radius meets the tangent at right angles, so get the gradient of the radius, that's the gradient of CT. That'll be the difference in the y coordinates, 2 take away negative 1, just say that's 2 plus 1. 1 take away 3 for the x, so that's 3 upon negative 2, that's negative 3 upon 2, which means that the perpendicular gradient will be the negative of the reciprocal, 2 thirds. And 2 thirds is answer B. Number 3, this little log equation. So what does it say? What's the value of x? Well, if you're subtracting logs, you're dividing the numbers they're operating on. So what would you divide by to get an answer of 6? It must be 2. Otherwise, you have to set it out the long way. You'd have to say, well, that's the same as log of 4. If you're subtracting them, you'll be dividing the numbers. If these two are equivalent, then the numbers they're operating on must be equivalent. Or you could think just taking the inverse of both sides. So 12 upon x must be 6. And then rearranging that by cross-multiplying, x would be 12 over 6, so x is 2. But you could have spotted that at a glance straight away. Where are we? x equals 2, so that's a. Number 4. The wave equation here says, what are the values of k cos a and k sin a? So maybe we should just expand that then. So cos becomes cos x cos a, but plus, but again k is multiplying both parts, sin x sin a. So to compare them, you compare them term to term. So if I wanted the k cos a, that's the coefficient of cos x. The coefficient of cos x is negative 4, so it must be d. That's the only one that's got negative 4. But just I suppose double check with the next one. So I've got k cos a equals negative 4, and then check the sine with the sine. The sine x has got k sine a, the sine x has got 3, so k sine a should be 3. So I'm looking for negative 4, 3, and it is indeed d. 